I'm out at La Puente Skate Park right now. I'm just kind of trying to stretch out my, my ankle. I figured if I stretch it out before skating, it doesn't hurt so much on the session. My bad ankle, that is. But yeah, Dan's here, Haley's here. You wanna hear a funny story about this park? Yes. This was the first park that I skated <laughs> when I met up with, <laughs> I met up with the Pow Dudes. Cause oh, yeah? DeVille was like, hey, wanna come skate this park? It's not open yet, but we're getting a, a VIP skate session in before it was open because of um mikey that that, day. you weren't here i was there earlier in the day were you yeah okay yeah yeah so we came here and skated and that's when i met everybody so you were here earlier i was here earlier and then i met you at the flat bar like a couple days later that's right i met dale and this the day the first day i came and skated with everybody i was too shy to skate or even make a video really? like i couldn't skate i couldn't land anything and like I had my camera and I had everything ready to make a video here at this sick park and I just couldn't do it because I was too shy. Now look at you now. <laughs> so if anybody's looking for an update on the Ace trucks, um, they're good. I've just been having to tighten them a little bit each session. I guess the bushings are still breaking in. Um, but yeah, I feel like you can tighten them a fair bit and they'll still kind of travel decently. <laughs> travel? Yeah, they'll still kind of like I don't know, I guess travel decently back and forth. So, yeah, so far so good. I do need to get another board though, because I, I threw my board on the Curb Hunter video and took a big chunk out of the bottom here. So every time I pop, it sounds like the layers are separating at the end here. So I think I'm going to get a passport board next, to be honest, because I miss Sydney and I can appreciate the brand way more now that I'm away from home, you know? Oh, oh, Rolls! I boy. got out too early. Do it again. Oh. Damn, you like grinded the whole thing. The end turned into a flat bone. I need a cleaner one. You got it. Damn. Oh. There we go. That's it's, it's a line though. Back and forth type of roll-on guy. Yeah, yeah roll-on guy. That noise is very satisfying at the end. Smith. You got it. That's cool. That wasn't even bad. Yeah, someone waxed it because they don't know how to back down. Oh yeah, you could slide the whole thing. Saw that in, I think it was Sean's last video, trying to learn how to sit on front tails better. This is a perfect thing for him to figure it out because it's like a good, I don't know, 11 foot ledge, 12 foot ledge. Haley Stone's pushing no comply 180.
Yeah, you got. <laughs> oh, switch man. There it is. Stand up, baby. Oh. The pop out. Wow. That was God, sick. Amazing. Yeah, do it again. What? Yeah, you have to do it again because you just did it. Now true you have to do it again. True type of work. No, I just want more footage for you. It's all about the minutes, baby. Try to go to fakie on this one. That way it's like a different trick. <laughs> yeah, go I to fakie. I can feel that a bit now. Yeah, you're like sitting on it. Good. Speed is key. Yeah, going a little faster helps your body position a lot easier. Okay, we'll do it again. I think I, I, I don't big know. spin. <laughs> Try big spin. Yes. Yep. See how bad that trick wanted to work? It wanted to work so bad. Yeah, first try. Okay. Is that it? Yeah, that was it. All right, I now do the line. I, think I, sl I slid far enough. Yeah, you slid like three feet, maybe seven Let's feet. Damn, Pudwell. Let's have a look. Okay, now we're landing back 180 nose grinds. Okay, now that we've learned back 180 nose grinds, we're gonna learn. Uh, it seemed, I mean, it's, I told you, it's easy. In my head, it seemed really hard, but then you're like, just do this and this. And it's almost like it's a, I don't know. Is it a, it's not a faux trick. No, it's, a, it's how you think about it. Every trick is easier if you think about it the right way. I told him to, Focus on where your front foot goes and over rotate it and aim for crooked grind. Don't aim for switch 5 0 Because if you aim for switch 5 0 you tend to overshoot it. Yeah. And if you aim for an over rotated front nose, you end up in front nose. So aim for crooked grind. I want to see if I can get like a grind one, yeah. Better one. Yeah. Well, one. Yeah. Because that wasn't one. <laughs> that was like one. That was like two. Yeah, you got it. The other misconception about this trick is people think you need to ollie high to get into it. I, I don't like ollie high. Slappy. Yeah, it's almost slappy esque. Yeah. All that. <laughs> you feel like you're cheating? Yeah. Haley, we're in the middle of filming. I'm cheating because it, it's a, it's a, it's basic fundamentals. Two basic fundamentals, and it makes a sick trick. Yeah, that's that's every trick. Every trick is just a combination of like something else you might already be able to do. Back when eating nose grinds is a great example of that. <laughs> I tried to go back to, to Goofy, but... You just grinded the shit out of that. I you see that? Yeah. He's done like three of them. I love I really that you wanna, can just do this trick. I really want to get it to like... Back normal. to forward? Yeah. yeah. That's my favorite one too. Yeah, baby. How do you come back to regular? Yeah. Uh, so when I do back when you nose grinds to regular, I never adjust my shoulders like I'm in, like I keep my shoulders here. Oh, uh, you're like. Yeah, I keep looking the direction that I'm heading. Uh, so the second, it's like a front board. The second that you look backwards, you're going to fakie. Yeah. But if you stay okay. looking forward, you go to regular. I found that very common to front side tricks, like front nose. Absolutely. Front board. It's front like, feeble. Like if you do front feeble and you, you look at your like toes, this, you fall. Like if you're here, then you come out. But like once you're there, it's like. Yeah, you're just coming to fakie. Yeah. I feel like that was cleaner. That was perfect. Let's have a look. Really? <laughs> Why this? 
get on my seat. He's gone. He's going. Yeah. Nice. Ah. All right, next new trick. Shovin knows Grant's what he wants to learn. He's going to learn it on this curb thingy. You just throw it to your front foot. That's all it is. Shove it to automatically go to your front foot. And the faster you get it to your front foot, the less likely it's going to be able to flip over. So just shove it up to your front foot. That's all it is. It's, shove and nose grind is a very natural trick too. Like Yeah, it just looks like it's all going the same kind of way. You know? Yeah, you shove it to naturally dip that way anyway. Oh, Ooh, that's like crook. Yeah. Shove it, 55-0. Oh. oh, hell yeah, you got that on lock. What is that? The next generation, what do you mean? That oh, was sick. Gosh. Does it count? Yeah, it counts, I think. Let's have a look, it didn't feel like it. Yeah, it's one of those ones where you, you figured it out here, but it's going to be easier on something taller. Yeah, the just, fact that this is low makes it impossible. I think it's harder for me to pop because it's short. My legs are like longer. It's like more comforting to like pop onto something. Yeah. Because here you're kind of like giving the smallest pop and it throws me off a little bit. Yeah, that, that's why I do so many slappies because my legs are so long. <laughs> and I'm so big. But it's just like I just got to avoid ollies altogether. Just to recap on the title of this video, that park was the first park that I went and skated with uh, the power guys and shouts out to DeVille for inviting me out that day to go skate. And I ended up meeting Dale that day and I ended up meeting Dan like oh, a couple weeks or whatever later on. But I was so shy to skate, like I couldn't land anything. Like I legit like would just roll around and like be self-conscious the whole time. Cause I was like, oh my God, like I'm here with all these dudes I can skate really well. And like, I don't know if they're gonna think I'm lame because my tricks aren't as crazy as theirs or just what just whatever all the stuff that you think when you're at a park with new people you start to like trip yourself out a little bit when in reality no one really cares. Everyone's just there to kind of skate and have fun and uh enjoy skateboarding. So yeah, it's pretty crazy that a lot can happen in a year. I don't know if this sentence is making any sense, but that was last year, it's been a year, I've been here a year now. So I feel like I'm like finally really comfortable here and I feel like I have my place here. Like I feel like I've found my kind of belonging, I guess. I don't feel that sense of not fitting in anymore. Not that I felt that sense of not fitting in in Sydney. I just felt like there was more, you know, and I can't like, I'm super, super grateful to be up here and thankful that I was allowed out of Australia midst pandemic, they allowed me to leave. So I took that opportunity and I was scared to leave and I did it and yeah, face your fears guys. You don't know how much can change in a year if anyone's like doubting themselves, lean into the fear. That's what will make you kind of grow. This isn't a spiritual channel or whatever. I'm just trying to explain to you a little bit of an insight from myself with being up here and skateboarding and everything else. So yeah, cheers for watching the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, subscribe if you're new and I'll catch you guys in the next one. On your way back, bring me his son. On, on